When I go to, to other, other countries, like when I go to Australia, New Zealand, and different places, um, in those workshops, I, a lot of times we'll have like maybe 40 to 60 people in a room. And I will do the demonstrations, and then actually they will have enough space in the room that they can actually pair off with their partners and actually do the demonstration. Now, in America, we are really kind of uptight about sex. We like, we can borderline on be, being like five, six years old as far as our attitude about sex is concerned. We, you would think it was the dirtiest, nastiest thing that you could ever uh, engage in as far as how we, how we uh, react the moment that we know that something is sexual is going on. So um, I find that people in, 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 in Europe are much more mature, uh, much more uh, open to sex. And as a result, um, I get an opportunity to really give them the information in a way that they can really take it and really change their life. Uh, here I have to, I have found that I need to be a little softer at first and allow people to see the demonstration rather than having to participate in anything themselves. Uh, and also I find that here in the, in the states that there needs to be more communication about how to utilize the energy once the energy is, is opened and, and getting over some of our phobias and our fears and all of these things, especially in relating to, with other people. Uh, so this is kind of what the workshop is this weekend. It's more geared to allowing you to go through some of the places that you need to go through to even be ready to move along in a different way. The other part of uh, using a, a new model is we have totally forgotten how beautiful the, just the human form is. So in order for you to get the human form out of some uh, forbidden, taboo type place, for you to see someone actually moving in their own body and going deeper in, their, in themselves, is really a beautiful thing to behold. And the female form is, is exquisitely beautiful. The, the, the natural undulating and the different things that go on in the female form are just, they're just totally uh, otherworldly. If you stop your normal thinking mind and just allow yourself to behold it. A lot of times I have uh, uh, other DVDs of, of me doing the work on women and I show it to some of the men sometime when they come for me for sessions a lot of them start crying because they've never seen the female form in that light and they've never seen anybody have patience with a woman a lot of the men say to me oh man I could never do that I never had that much patience with a woman I said I hear you and you will never know the joys of what a woman can bring to you either. So you don't have any patience. Then you get to live your humdrum life of going to work and coming home and paying bills. And that's all you know. You could be living like a god, like a king. And you choose to live like a knave. Each to their own woman actually starts to experience energy long before a man comes in contact. So I'm just going to sort of demonstrate that by just moving my hands over her body. I'm going to get you to put your hands to your side mm -hmm. and also I'm going to get you to um, Allow yourself to breathe, exhale out of your mouth. And um, just allowing whatever arises in the body. If the body starts to have energy or wants to move, allow it. Uh, and by allow it, what I'm saying is, rather than sit there and just look and feel that there's something happening, like if your pelvis has got energy in it, break your pelvis a little bit. 
the energy will take over and do the rest for you. And also allowing whatever sounds. The, it, uh, one of the most beautiful gifts that a woman could ever give a man in her life is her sounds of ecstasy. And yet on this planet, we have shut our women down so hard until most of them are afraid to even hear their own sounds. So if the woman truly understands and gives her sounds, it is through her sounds that she teaches the man how to make love to her. A man can actually listen to her sounds and his body will take that information in and actually respond back to her according to what her body is asking for through her sounds. So the moment that the woman stops her sounds, she actually is making the man hunt for her in the dark without any input to assist him in where to find her. So I'm just going to sort of like the sun, I'm going to shine on her. 